For those who don't know the MonsterVerse, I love it. I think it's a good idea. For those who don't know what the MonsterVerse is, it's basically kaiju movies all sharing the same universe. Look, Marvel isn't the first one to do the whole uh, cinematic universe. It wasn't. If you look back uh, to the 70s and stuff like that, the 60s and 70s, you had the Godzilla films. If you look past that, you had the Dracula, Frankenstein, the Wolfman films. So no, Marvel didn't start it, but they did a good job of uh, us, uh, putting it together. And that's not to say that this isn't, that this shouldn't be a thing, because there are a lot of franchises that should be, have cinematic qualities to them. Like I, for one, I think that they were, they were trying to do, redo like the Dracula, uh, Universal Monsters, uh, mo uh, Cinematic Universe thing. They didn't do that. It actually makes sense. They The first movie, The Mummy, did not do well because it was fucking dumb. Although the main chick was hot, completely hot. Um, and Tom Cruise just fucking overshadowed the film. This is one of the few times I can say Tom Cruise should not have been in the fucking movie. But anyways, um, the whole idea of the cinematic monster verse, all of these kaiju, it's basically Godzilla and King Kong. They share this one universe now. All of the kaiju monsters, King Ghidorah, uh, King Kong, you got uh, Rodan, you have the giant moth thing. Cool, cool, cool. They're all in the same cinematic, they have a big cinematic universe thing going on. And they do have sequels that are coming up, but they've decided to come up with, I guess, an origin story for King Kong, which is going to be in a series on Disney+. Plus. Is going to be uh, produced by Atomic Monster, which was founded by James Wan. James Wan, I believe, is the guy that did Aquaman. He did uh, The Conjuring, I think. Now, uh, yeah, I think he did either The Conjuring or Sinister. He did, he did something like that. In fact, I'm going to look this up because I want to be very accurate with what I'm saying. Uh, but if I am, if I am correct, he is the guy that did Aquaman did uh oh yeah yeah i just wanted to be very 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 accurate with what i'm saying uh wikipedia is a beast so let's see what this man's uh credits are he he directed a couple of the saw films he directed dead side a lot of his stuff is like horror theme yeah i was like the conjuring uh he did one of the fast and the furious Aquaman, the new Aquaman, Malignant. Yeah, this man has done a lot. He's done a couple of the songs as well. So he is going to be the guy, uh, his company that he founded, Atomic Monster, is going to be producing it. I'm interested to know why in the fuck this is going to be on Disney Plus, because I was under the assumption that Godzilla in MonsterVerse, everything in this MonsterVerse shebang was under uh universal so how did disney plus get the rights to the king make king kong i wouldn't be on universal i i don't know about that maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm wrong but uh, okay now it's supposed to be kong in his early days or whatever on skull island and to some extent i think that's okay i think that's interesting my thing actually would be fuck that I don't want to see Kong when he's younger. I would like to actually see uh, John C. Riley's character on Skull Island as throughout the years as he's growing. You know what I mean? Like him and the uh, eight, the Jap Japanese guy, wash up on the island. They are initially enemies until they meet Kong, and then now they're on this island together trying to survive against these giant monsters. I would like to see that. That I think would be a much more interesting, uh, a much more interesting television series. We get to explore, do what Skull Island didn't do, because I feel like Skull Island probably would have worked better as a series, because you got all of these different characters that we could explore, and these people are in different locations, so you see them struggling to survive and learn and adapt in this world. These giant monsters in it. But I would actually would have settled for John C. Riley's character returning in the in the series and him trying to uh, adapt to this life with these giant monsters, never seeing his family again, 
him dealing with these uh, native people that have been on the island. Like, I think that would be a much more compelling story. Um, but, yeah, like I said, Skull Island would have benefited as a television series first. Um, now, the writer is Stephanie Folson, who wrote Paper Girls. I ain't never heard of that. I don't even know that. It, they, that sounds stupid. No, nah, no, nah, let me not say that. That's that's not fair. That's that's not fair. And I paper, I don't know what Paper Girls is. I haven't seen it. Uh, maybe it'll be good. Now, um, Netflix. Uh, we just talked about Netflix. Netflix is uh, doing a Skull Island anime series, and I'm kind of worried about that. I'm kind of worried about that. But I'm like, okay, uh, I guess beggars can't be choosers. I just said I wanted to see a Skull Island television series, so. Fuck it, there we go. It's gonna be an anime. I want to see what is it gonna be following Kong? Cause I wanted to follow Kong, follow some actual characters. Cause one of the best things about Skull, one thing I can say I like about Skull Island, and the whole monster verse with Godzilla, is these films have a great way of making the human feel small. Like these monsters, like when you watch the first Godzilla film. Almost every shot of Godzilla and the Mudos are shot from human perspective, so it makes the creatures look more look bigger. You see that again in um, you see it again in Kong uh, uh, Godzilla versus Kong. You see it in Godzilla King of the Monsters. You definitely see in uh, King Kong Skull Island. So I want them to maintain that with the anime series. I don't want it to follow even with this the Disney Plus one. I don't want it to follow Kong. Why? I don't want to see that shit. Give me some human characters. I want to make. I want it to be like we look at these colossal creatures. I don't want it to be, you know, back in the day like when you see people in the suit and you see this this city. Obviously, they're bigger than the city, but it doesn't feel like that because you're seeing it from their perspective. So, I want that. I don't mind that the anime series. Ugh, I don't know about that. Um, I don't know about that. Maybe it'll be some good. I think that's an interesting way to go, but. Maybe, maybe it's for the best. I don't know. We'll definitely see. I think that they're going to go with the anime series. It's going to be kind of like the Godzilla animated series that they had uh, in the late 90s, early 2000s, based on the the rebooted Godzilla that came to Manhattan in that film. I know that film got a lot of flack because people like, that's not Godzilla. Fuck that. I like that movie. I do. It was a great kaiju movie. And the animated series was badass. Got a monster of the week and got some really pretty badass fights out of it. So, it, I, honestly, I wouldn't mind seeing some of those monsters make their appearance in this whole monster verse. But yeah, uh, yeah, King Kong's getting the series coming to Disney Plus again. I'm kind of questioning why the hell coming on Disney Plus and not HBO Max. But okay, fine. Moving on, 